come on, try to say, plead for Jason. Okay, let's see Miss Florence, come on. Not Florence, oh God, not Miss Florence, Annabella, Annabella, let's see. Hey everybody, so welcome back to another episode of my um, channel. So, I, um, all this time I was recording and I thought that I was recording, but I didn't have um, my computer set up, so <laughs> there's quite a bit of the day that has gone by, and this is Gemma, and this is our husband Richard, and he went to go and fight in the war, so we've missed all of that, and we are back where he is back from the war, he made it through the war, so... That is a good thing, and we got to change now one of his traits. So, we are giving him, we gave him the gloomy trait, and because he has done the war, he is going to have the military career. Okay. So, we're going to give him the military career. And and now we're going to switch over <laughs> from this family. We're going to go into the next um, family that we, ha that we are going to do. So today you'll see more than one family in my, um, in my episode for today. All right, so we're going to unclick, um, we're going to uncheck unplay um, the Brown family and we're going to switch over to the Griffith family which is a very very big family Annika, Vance, Terry, Jason, Annabella, Roy and Florence one two three four five six seven oh wow they have a very full household so let's get into this household so we can see who's who. I think before we even start playing them, let me go into our cast mode just so that I can see who's who because I don't even know. I haven't played this family, so I don't know who all is in there. So we have Jason, and Jason is a young adult who could move out. And then his sister is Annika. And Annabella is the mother. Okay. And then Roy. So Roy, Roy Jr. is married to Florence. And they ha Oh, his brother's Vance. And his son is Terry. So what is Terry? Terry is a teen. Okay. So now that we kind of know who all is who... Um, I'm not going to worry so much about their clothes because I'm going to send everybody that needs to go off to war to war and then after that I can change up their clothes. Right, we are now in the Griffith household and the first person we are sending off to war is Jason Griffith. So we are shipping him out right now to war. And let us see what Roy Jr. is up to. Okay, so he is here with his wife. He's about to be an elder. Oh, wow. So, let him talk to his wife. So, I guess if he's about to be an elder, oh, today is his birthday. I think today is his birthday. Let me... Or it should have been his birthday. Yeah, today is his birthday. So he is going to escape going to the war. Okay. And let's see, he's going to ask her, whisper sweet nothings, and he is burning to death. Oh. Okay, let's change your clothes. 
to your summer outfit. Okay. And uh oh, Masum just disappeared. Oh, she's there. So kiss her cheek. And let's ask her if she wants to have any more kids. Okay, because if she wants to have. Okay. And why is everybody burning to death? Why is nobody wearing the clothes they're supposed to be wearing? Okay, so you are going to change into your summer clothes. And... Oh, you have to go off to war as well. I'm sorry, Terry. Um, how did I forget about that? So, you're going to register for a draft. And we are shipping you out. Okay. So I realized that Annabella, she is the matriarch of this household, but for some reason, she still had, um, she was still an adult, and her son was about to age up to be an elder. So I changed her to be an elder already so that she can be, and that will give him time before he is an elder. I should actually set her days. I'm going to set her days and make it shorter. So I've got a sim commands, set age. And her age span is going to be five days. Oh, so she's almost due to be gone. So this household is about to experience a lot of death. Okay, so they can try for one more baby, I guess. Yes, they can. And she, in the meantime, is going to change her outfit. To a summer outfit. Okay, and let her cook some. She's gonna cook some dinner. Okay, so yeah, I have to do some changes in this household because everybody is not dressed in the decade they're supposed to be. Okay, so they are almost set to be done. So I went into everybody's um, cast mode and I changed out their um, stuff just because everybody didn't look like the decade. So I went in in this family and I just changed it up so that everybody can look like the decade that they are in. Okay, and now it's time for everybody to eat. Okay, she's eating. And then I need everyone to go to the bathroom. Why is she naked? Okay. First, woo. That was not, oh, okay, so they have that as that being her first woohoo. Okay, so that's their room. And they're going to go to sleep. And then I need a room for her. So this is her bedroom. And then he has a room. And she has a room as well. Yes. 
Okay, so everybody is get ready for being set up for to go to bed. And we're just waiting on getting word back about the war and what went on. Let's see how much longer these guys have. Okay, so Steve, he still has quite a while. And so does their son, who seems very sad. So I'm just going to pop into the family tree just that because I'm getting kind of confused with who belongs to who in this family. So we have Roy Jr., whose parents are Roy and Annabella. And he is married to Florence, whose parents are Abel and Doris. Okay, so they have two kids. They have Gemma and they have Terry, who has done, um, who has done, uh, who's at the war, sorry. And then Annabella and Roy have Roy Jr., Annika, and Jason. And then she has this son, who's Vance, who Vance's father doesn't, Vance does not have a father. Okay, so she just has a son, Vance, who has no father. Um, very suspicious. So either she cheated in her relationship but something went wrong. So everybody is off to bed after um, eating. Oh, she needs to brush her teeth. So I'm going to have her brush her teeth before she goes to bed. Once I saw that embarrassed look, and you can see it in her face, her teeth are all yellow, and her skin is all blushing. Like, Okay. And then... They are a very big household, which is surprisingly, because I didn't think Florence's household will expand like that because Roy Jr. was an only child when they got married. Okay. Now, while everybody is asleep, we're just checking up and we're seeing, oh no. Did she just have a... Yes, she did. So, Anika sees a, a ghost. Not a ghost. A monster under the bed. And Roy Jr. has now followed in his mom's footsteps and become an elder. So, let him spray the monster under the bed for his daughter. And he is going to... Ask her about school. So this is where I'm confused. If this is his child, why is it saying adopt his kid dependent? Okay. And it says he's just an elder. Or maybe she's a child. Oh, that's his sister. Okay. <laughs> His mom just had a lot of kids. A whole lot of kids. Okay, so she's going to go and use the bathroom. And then she can take a nap. We're going to remove the berry giggles. And then he is going to take a nap. I mean sleep. And there's somebody else awake. Vance, you are playing. No, Vance, you need to go to sleep. So go to bed. Okay. At least I don't have any outrageous names that they were given. The game is, was being pretty good this time. Okay, and let's see how much longer. Oh, he's almost out from the war. Okay, so Annika is off to bed and let's see, so 
Jason is back. And let's see what it says. Oh no, he's a fallen soldier. So we have had our first victim in the that has not made it for the war. Oh, and then we have another. So Jason Griffith has died in the war. Okay. Did he die too? Terry Griffith has died in the war. Okay, so somebody's got to wake up. Okay, go use the bathroom. Go use the potty. And then we need you to go downstairs and try to save these two. Okay, and she is going to come and try to save them. If she can. No, she can't. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Okay, come on. Try to save. Plead for Jason. Okay, let's see Miss Florence. Come on. Not Florence. Oh, God. Not Miss Florence. Annabella. Annabella. Let's see. Go and try to save your son. You need to walk a little faster. Your son is dying. And your grandson. Okay, if you can't save your son, maybe you'll be able to save your grandson. Okay, so she did not save him. So let us... Okay, so... So Annabelle's ardent appeal fell on deaf ears. Okay, let's see. Oh, somebody has already pleaded for Terry. Oh. Okay, so we just lost two people. Okay. Oh, we just lost two people in this war. Okay, so in our Griffith household, two people lost their lives to the war. Um, we're going to place their graves over here at the back under this tree. As I just think that would be a nice place for them to be at, if I can, okay, I can't see where the tree is exactly, but I'll know where to put it, okay, okay, so that is Terry and Jason are both gone, and it says, we regret to inform you that Terry has fallen in the line of duty. Our nation is grateful for the service of all those who lay down their lives to protect our citizens and our communities. We mourn with you at this difficult time and hope you can be comforted by the presence of family and friends. Okay, so we are going to leave this family for now. And let them mourn and we're going to go and pop into our our family that we play and see how they're doing so i decided to pop right back into my original family household and just take a look at these two adorable bubble roots oh they are so cute and they're going to go and eat and what is wrong oh yes i forgot we left and this house was a mess we have a floating book. We gonna have just everybody just eating whatever. How many pieces are there? Okay, so there's still two which the twins can have. And he is sad from losing somebody close to him in the family. Yes, across the street the war has been crazy. 
Okay, so what do we have that's green? So we are going to, because it's still like early hours of the morning, so we're going to have her clean that up. While she does the dishes. And I'm going to go upstairs. Because we need to change up these twins' room. Yes, we do. Only problem is with my family that I have. Hopefully now that the father has an actual job, they will have a little bit more money. But... It just seems like since the 1890s, they are a true family living, a true black family living in America because they hardly have any money. Okay, so we got to get the, I'm going to get you a blue bed. And that's for Harold. And he'll have a green bed. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, I don't think I have enough for the... No, that's $900. Okay. And what else can they play with? What is... They can play with some blocks. And they can have a toy... Let me get a toy... A little toy chest. I do have one that is, there we go, an antique one. It's 500 but it will do. Okay, and that should be good. Okay, so she, once she is done, oh, I know what I can make him do. He can paint the twins. So I have him taking a picture of the, um, painting a picture of the twins. And let's see. They could go to bed. Yes, they can. So I'm going to have her put Richard to bed. And then I'm going to have Lillian put Harold to bed. Okay. And then she can come back and do her homework. Okay. And that's a nice painting. That's going to be a really, really nice painting. Um, okay, and I don't know when he has to go to work. Let's see. So he's working in two hours. So let us have him drink some water because he's dehydrated. And I know, I know, I know I'm not supposed to have um, a workout kit, but because he has this... Um, because he has the uh, military career and one of the requirements is to work out. So I am going to put it in there. And I'm going to be selling this, the rickety chair, and we don't need the cow plant. Okay. So let us go into the exercise so we can find... Um, Maybe you can use it, the treadmill or something. Not something too conspicuous. Just something that he can work out in. Let's see. What looks old enough? Okay, so we're going to pretend it's not there, but it's there. <laughs> okay. So he's going to work out, and once she's done, I am not sure why they are not doing this, but this needs some cleaning. Clean. Okay. 
Abraham has gone to work. The twins are asleep. So is their mom, Sela, and Lillian is getting herself ready for school. Okay, so I hope that you all enjoyed my episode today. There was a lot that went on. Um, we basically were between three families. And let's see, so today we have one, two, three, four birthdays. We have Lillian, Sia, and the twins. So when we come back into the, when we come back for the next episode, we will probably see them already aged up or I will, um, yeah, they probably will be aged up or I will have their birthdays then. But, um... There's a possibility, back to this, there's a possibility that the twins might enter the war as well. They might be teenagers by then. And then um, I'm just going to have, so I'm going to have to make a sum for my, um, for Lillian. But I'm probably just going to do that in game. I'll see. I'll decide by the next episode. Well, like I said, you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and the notification bell for more content, and I will see you all in the next episode.